Thank you guys for tuning back in. This is Poncho. I am his co-host Chris with Walk Talk Fish YouTube. He's got me on here interviewing me, asking me questions because if you guys keep up with his channel, you know that he travels. He was traveling throughout the pandemic and he has been to a lot of places. So the first thing I want to ask you is off the top of your head, how many states have you traveled to? Close to 40. Close I, to I don't 40. know the exact number without, I had it written down, but okay. lost it. And have you ever traveled outside of the United States? No, no. I actually have not. I have not. I've been at the Canadian border. I stepped over it, but I wasn't allowed to. Okay. So. Okay. So yeah, if you traveled to around forty or over forty different states, yeah. The so for the both of us, we both like outdoors, agriculture. We love scenery. Yeah. What are the if you could pick three to five states? What would you say? the most memorable states were for you okay i have different reasons for different states okay give me a hand for me hand. one would be maine okay and maine because it was just beautiful like it, it was it was one of the most beautiful places i've ever been the second place would be new jersey because it was surprisingly beautiful was it cold because it, it wasn't it, like it, it was what did you say <laughs> was it cold like when i picture new jersey i just picture cold, cold? weather for some really yeah. no you know it was summertime it really? was hot but See, like when originally I'm from West Virginia, right. and when I think of New Jersey, I think of cities. I think of like just skyscrapers, that kind of thing, kind of like New York City. But when I got to New Jersey, I was on the total opposite side of New Jersey, and there was a bunch of trail. Like I was against the Appalachian Trail, so there was a bunch of trail towns. There was delis everywhere that had the best like cold cut subs you could really, ever just, like, get. Yeah, just foods. all over the place, oh, down the road, yeah. down the trail. And there was waterfalls everywhere. It was just a beautiful state altogether. Yeah. And then another state I would mention, New Mexico, which that was kind of my first experience in the desert. So that is always going to have a place in my heart because around here we don't have much desert like anywhere. Like yeah. It's hard to find. And when I've seen that, I know some people might think it's meh, but it was beautiful. And then the last state I'll mention here would be Colorado. And that is because Colorado and me have a very bad reputation. <laughs> First time I was in Colorado, I was on my road trip, and my minivan broke down. We called it the Poncho Mobile. I love that minivan. Rest in peace. What, what kind of what kind of van was it? it? It was a town and country. Chrysler Town and Country. Chrysler Town and Country. Yeah, it was a 2005. The most beautiful rusty blue you've ever seen in your life. Had rusty blue eyes. So so you, so you really rode that thing hard, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. We, we was in love, me gotcha. and that van. And uh, I slept in the back of it all the time. So, so that was your main source of transportation yeah, yeah. and you didn't you you say you stayed in the van the whole time like yeah yeah, I was, yeah I, my first winter like i spent a winter in the van and that was interesting yeah because like i, I started getting a buddy heater and the buddy heater did a lot i had and then it started getting hot and when it got hot i had a different set of problems because i would roll my window down to keep cool and then when i got up to maine i was up in maine in june and i don't know if you're from maine it, it's june but there is black flies and these things are dangerous little creatures them and mosquitoes both so i would have my windows cracked and i would just wake up with black flies and mosquitoes all over the inside of my minivan and i had to figure out other situations but that, sound fun. that, that was and then my second trip to colorado I ended up getting a staph infection in my leg and i had to, I had to really? fly back home for that yeah so me and colorado like I, I just think don't you like each other. Colorado. I know, but it's so beautiful. Yeah, Colorado, I mean, the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. If you've never been, you gotta go. It, it is beautiful. So, the, a final question I'll ask you here is: When you traveled, you know, how do you keep your ducks in a row? How do you keep everything itemized to where? How do you know where you're going next? And why are you going to those okay. locations? This is when I like my last trip. When? How did I know? Yeah, I did not know. Okay, it was kind of just to go out on a whim see where people take me like I, I would meet a group of people and they say well we're going up to Pennsylvania and I was in Virginia I'd ride up to Pennsylvania I had a couple situations where I was like it was the pandemic and flights and stuff was delayed and there was a guy that needed to get back to Florida and he was like hey I'll, I'll throw you some some money will you drive me down to Florida so me and this man took a trip down to Florida I don't want to give his name away it was the most interesting trip I've ever had. I may even go over it at some now, point. Now, is this, on this the podcast. guy that took you to a restaurant and he left you there because you, you, 
you no, said. No, 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 okay, not that, okay. well, well, that, that could be on a different episode. Yeah, that's, that's something because different. That, I is, have a, that is a story. I have a lot of stories that's happened okay. in my time. But back to uh, how, how, how do you know what were you saying? How do you know? Oh, how do I know where I'm going? Yeah. It, it's just wherever it takes me, no. I guess. I just kind of went with it. I, I was making a little bit of money from selling people around. Then I started doing some photography and making a little bit of money that way because there wasn't as many photographers in the pandemic. I did pretty much exactly what they told you not to do yeah, when the yeah, pandemic yeah. started. Because yeah. I went from being almost nowhere to seeing over half this country. And it was it was a very mind-opening experience. A lot of my views kind of twisted in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not, not going political, I'm not trying to do that route, but like what you think about certain states. So I'm just clarifying political right. is not what I'm talking about. Yeah, yet. well, I mean, with the pandemic going on, everyone switched up. Yeah. Like, everyone switched and, up and it their was like, beliefs. Everything went political, you know. Yeah, and that's no not way. what this is, this episode, but it's things happen yeah. out of nowhere very quick, but you you continue to travel and you yeah. do what you wanted to do. So. And I actually made make another episode about the pandemic in general because there's a pretty cool little story about that. Is there anything else you want to ask me in this no, episode? Or I, I think want to go that's on to it. The next I one? think that there is um, a lot of future episodes based off of just this episode yeah. of what we can branch off to because I know that you got some really cool stories and I think that... Uh, and I'm sure you have a couple of cool stories yourself that you could share. I may have a few. Yeah, Most yeah. of them are fishing stories. But that's... that's I, I did slice my knee wide open uh, <laughs> tubing down the uh, Shenandoah River. Yeah, so if you if you want to hear a tubing story, just uh, let me know in the comments down below. Once again, his channel will be down below as well. Yeah, that'd be tubular. Thank you guys for Sorry. watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and like always, I'll see you on see the you sunny guys. side. What is up, all you ponchos with adventures? With adventures? Uh, I, I guess. Oh, I, 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 I He's doing the intro. This is. What we'll do is we'll just restart. <laughs> no, I <Hey>. like that. <laughs> We're keeping this in there, okay, my man. Okay, fine. We'll totally do it.